Welcome back to News 8 at Noon. I'm Lisa Carberg. Another grim milestone for the United States. We're now topping 5 million cases of coronavirus nationwide. Joining us to talk now about COVID-19 symptoms and the spreading of the virus is Dr. Henry Anamadu, infectious diseases specialist with the Hospital of Central Connecticut. Doctor, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So do we have any insight as to why some people that carry the virus have symptoms and others do not? You know, it's not entirely clear why some people who have the virus carry will exhibit symptoms and others wouldn't. Uh, that's still an area of a lot of research where we're still trying to understand it. What about um, asymptomatic patients? They, do they carry the virus in different amounts than people with symptoms? Again, that's still speculative, but the is concerned that depending on the dose of the virus that you get, some people may have a lot of symptoms because they get a lot of virus at a time. And others may not get uh, the symptoms because they just got a little virus. Uh, it, it's not entirely clear. And I would say that we, it's still an area of, uh, of research. We're so much learned every week, I know. How likely are asymptomatic patients to have the ability to spread the virus to others? Do we know anything about that? That we know for sure, that there are a lot of, a lot of people who get exposed to the virus and uh, are completely asymptomatic, but then they can spread the virus. And we know that because actually people who are pre-symptomatic as in who are going to be showing symptoms in the next 24 hours, especially within that 24 hour period before they become symptomatic. It's been clearly documented that those people have a very high viral load and they can spread the virus without even knowing it. All right, new studies suggest that some immune system cells may recognize COVID-19 because of similar viruses in the past. What do we know about this so far and what does it mean for patients with those immune cells? That is true. So uh, the study looked at uh, whether people who have been exposed to the virus uh, had symptoms or had some form of immunity. You know, when you get exposed to the, uh, any virus at all, your immune system reacts in two different ways. One is a T cell response, which is a cellular immunity. And the other is the B cell response and antibodies. So what the study found is that there were about 40% to 50% of patients who hadn't been exposed to the virus at all, but then they still had uh, some form of T cell responses to the virus. It's, it's, it's interesting. And some of their speculations include the fact that uh, they may have been exposed to some of the four coronaviruses that causes common colds. And because of that, those T cells uh, have some form of memory and can cross react to the current uh, COVID-19. But again, it's still an area of study, but it's interesting because if we knew those who had that kind of immunity or who had that kind of T cell immunity, then we can say that this kind of people or this group of people may have uh, symptoms or may react uh, vehemently to the virus when they get exposed to it. But at this point, we still don't know clearly. All right, Dr. Henry Anamadu, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your insight. You're very welcome.